it's an emulsion and it needs to stay in suspension so you need to keep stirring it until it's it's just about dry into the pot and then scoop it out otherwise this concoction of beeswax and mineral oil makes a great sanding paste and we I showed you how to make this last week this week we're going to add a secret ingredient to it and turn it into a sanding abrasive to get rid of the really fine uh, fine scratches if this is something you're interested in keep watching hi y'all Mike Peace Mike Peace wood turning I'm here to share with you tips tricks and techniques to help you become a better wood turner if there's something you're interested in click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you won't miss future videos as you may recall from last week's video, we used this formula of one part beeswax to four parts of mineral oil by weight to make the sanding paste. Now we're going to add that secret ingredient, the abrasive, to turn it into a uh, liquid sandpaper. I want to give this shout out to Daniel Filarino, whose uh, video on uh, making this was a great inspiration for me and was the basis for my, my formula. Now let me go on to state for the record, I'm not a chemist. Uh, and I didn't stay at a Holiday Inn last night. I got my degree in e economics. This is an approach and a, and a formula that, that I found that works for me. Uh, you might have uh, better, better ideas. And if, if you do, please share them uh, in the comments below. I'm going to provide you the link to Daniel's uh, video at the, uh, in the description of this video in case you want to catch it. There were an awful lot of comments and, and questions that provided more information than you're probably going to get how this 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 video uh, I want to say that this concoction it works for me uh, to the point that I'm probably not going to experiment with it by playing with different uh, abrasive uh, compounds there's lots of different abrasives you can use we're going to use diametaceous earth which is basically a mechanical uh, insecticide that you can pick up your big box store you can get it at, at Lowe's or or Home Depot uh, it's basically triple E. It's the same stuff uh, that you would, you would get in your uh, uh, buffing, your triple E buffing compound. It's a naturally occurring soft sedimentary uh, rock made from fossilized algae uh, from millions of years ago. It's 70 to 80 percent silicon. It's a very very fine abrasive. And strangely enough, it's food safe. You could eat it. You don't want to breathe it. You don't want to get it in your eyes. Uh, Diametaceous earth, or DE, is also used in uh, pool uh, filtration units. So if you go to Home Depot or Lowe's or some other store, you're going to look for it in the, sec in the insecticide aisle. And you can get uh, about nine, uh, I think it's, uh, well, let me get the bag and I'll show you. So here's what that bag looks like. Um, it is a very, very fine, you can blow it, it's almost like a talcum uh, powder. Uh, four pounds of it costs you about nine bucks, so it should give you a lifetime supply of abrasive uh, paste unless you do use it around your shop for cockroaches, ants, fleas, silver, fish, earwigs, earwigs and, and bed bugs. <laughs> Now, I've, personally, I found that this uh, uh, mixture of mineral oil, beeswax, and diatomaceous earth uh, does very well. Now, that's not to say there aren't other abrasives, uh, and I'm not going to experiment with them, but there's, there's rotten stone, there's aluminum oxide, there's a, a ceramic, uh, there, there, there's pumice, they come in various grits. Uh, and you can play with those if, if you like. There's, like I say, there's a number of comments on uh, Danielle's. Uh, channel. Just be advised of uh, there's there's some pumices or rotten stone mixtures that you can get that are very dark and and they're going to stain your lighter wood. Now, using sanding this sanding paste uh, can actually save time on uh, on your sanding because you're not going to uh, use as much sandpaper. You're not necessarily going to go up to finer grits. And I find it as an alternative to the buffing. Uh, the buffing system, I think you can get very similar similar results. It's like taking your last grit and, and tripling it. So here's the formula that I've, I've, uh, I've, I'm using. One part beeswax to one part Tripoli, that is diam a diatomaceous earth, and five parts of mineral oil by weight. And as we described last week in that video, uh, an, an ounce of mineral oil doesn't weigh an ounce. So it, 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 this is by weight. 
One of the advantages of, of this product, besides cost, you can make a seven ounce container of this for about about two bucks. But one of the other advantages it has over some of the commercial uh, uh, products uh, is is smell. This has got a very pleasant uh, beeswax type of smell to it. Uh, some of the commercial products uh, have uh, solvents in them, vol volatile organic compounds that uh, cre create a pretty harsh harsh smell that a lot of people don't don't care for. Now here's the steps. We're gonna follow the pretty much the process we did last week. Uh, let's, let's start with a 7 ounce uh, uh, mixture. We're going to take 1 ounce by weight of beeswax. You're going to cut it up or grate it, weigh it out, put it in your, uh, your cooker. We're not going to go into the details of cooking because that'll, that'll be, that was in last week's video. I'll have a link to that. Uh, if you click on the information icon uh, up to your, uh, my, my left, <laughs> uh, you'll have a link to that. To that. Uh, we're going to use a, a crock pot. Go ahead and mix in your uh, five parts of mineral oil, uh, and if you don't want to bother to weigh that out, you can actually uh, measure it in ounces, and you're going to use uh, six ounces instead of five, but if you weigh it, it's five ounces. Uh, heat it until it's thoroughly, uh, thor the, thoroughly mixed together, the, uh, the beeswax is completely melted, at that point in time, you can you can start stirring in the uh, diatomaceous earth uh, and mix it up. Go ahead and take the heat off, and you're going to keep stirring it. Unlike the uh, mixture of the uh, sanding paste, where you could pour it hot into a container and let it and let it cool. In this case, you're going to have to keep stirring it up. All right, you can pour the uh, sanding butter while it's hot and melted and into a container but when it comes to the the sanding paste it's an emulsion and it needs to stay in suspension so you need to keep stirring it until it's it's just about dry into the pot and then scoop it out otherwise if it's still melted when you're setting it uh, when you pour it you're going to have the heavier particles sink to the bottom not good okay it's about 10 minutes later and I'm still stirring it. It's you can tell it's getting thicker and thicker. Now, at what point in time I got to quit stirring? I don't know. It's getting. It it is still cooling and it is going to get harder. But I suspect it's hard enough now where it's not likely to settle out. But I'm going to be patient and continue to the stirring process for a few more minutes. <laughs> 